I really felt like I ruined my life beyond repair. I was just, I was lost. One day I was woken by my, my dad and he said that my mom was in a horrible car accident. She said she was in critical condition in the hospital. All I remember after the car accident was um, children and youth stepping in and taking me and my brother out of the home and placing us in foster care. Um, that was probably the most devastating thing that I'd say probably happened in my life. I didn't understand why I was taken from my mom um, and placed in what I thought was a punishment. Um, I felt like I was being punished for what somebody else did. When I was 16 years old, I committed a crime. Um, I got arrested for it when I was 17, and they charged me as an adult and sent me to Camp Hill State Prison where I turned 18. I got, I got out of prison when I was 21. Um, I still had a piece of me missing. Um, everything was good for a while, and then like this, this emptiness inside me just drove me to drugs again. I started dabbling with harder drugs this time. I ended up getting caught with a whole bunch of drugs and um, ended up doing a lot of time for that. Uh, a four year period altogether. When I got out of jail, there's still something missing. I don't know what it was, moving from one place to another, being over here this city, moving over here, looking for something that was, you know, just not there. I didn't have anywhere to go where I was. I was living in Cumberland, Maryland, and um, I decided, you know, that I would just get a tent and go stay in the woods and try to find a job. I woke up one day um, by the state police of Maryland telling me to get out of my tent, and I couldn't camp there because it was private property. They threw me out of my homelessness to go be homeless somewhere else. So like, you know, that like really hit, hit me. And I'm just like, you know, I'm like, I was, I was, I was really hurt and broken. Like just being out there in the streets and stuff. And I got on my bike and I'm riding around looking for another place to basically camp. And I came up over this hill and there was a, a big assemblies of God church. And, um, so I go in and I talk, I talk to the pastor and I'm, I asked him, what time is your service on Sunday? And he said, he looked at me, you know, like this. And he's like, do you need to talk? And I'm like, yeah. And, um, he, uh, he, he took me in the office and he sat me down. And the first question he asked me is, where do I live? And at that moment, I just, I lost it. I was just like, you know, I'm homeless. I'm living in the woods. And, and he, he just, he, he called a couple people and they came and they prayed with me and they were like, you know, it's going to be okay and we're going to work through this. And um, he introduced me to a couple people in the church and, um, you know, and I just kept, you know, seeking the Lord and going to the Bible studies and, um, you know, seeing what, you know, my purpose really was. And, and whenever I found out, you know, that, that God really does love us. It, it, it was just, it was like that hole in me was filled that I chased my whole entire life. I was reading in the Bible where um, it says in Romans 13 that we should submit to our governing authority. And um, in my heart, I knew that I had warrants out for my arrest. And um, I decided the thing to do was to go to the police station and turn myself in. One of the warrants that I had was from Adams County from a long time ago. And um, so when I got here, um, I did a little bit of time in the county jail. And as I was in the county, I was reading the word, um, going to like all the Bible studies and like really seeking God and trying to figure out you know, what, what his direction for my life was. And I came across this pamphlet for the, uh, the Freedom House. I, I thought being as though I was, you know, just starting my walk with the Lord and stuff. I thought it would be a really good idea to not go right back to the streets and instead to go to a Christian discipleship program. My life now is, is uh, peaceful. 
Um, I have joy. I don't have like anxiety knowing like, is tomorrow gonna be my last day on the street? Is, you know, is everything I'm doing in my life right now useless because the enemy's just gonna steal it all away anyway? Like I don't have that fear today. There's a scripture in Colossians, uh, I think it's 122. It says that um, for those who are in Christ, um, we're brought into his presence and we stand holy and blameless before him without a single fault.